So on this hunt with Jay, um, we basically explored different poles of hunting and hunting possibilities, um, starting with a, with a big game, um, close range hunting up in the Nyasa, and then moving down to the bow hunting, which is total opposites. Um, and Jay focusing and being very focused on each hunt. Um, and then you throw in the long range hunting in there and having to shift gears, um, hunting, hunting with a bow at shorter ranges, 30, 40 yards, and then running shots out to 850 yards um, in the Kalahari. Um, and that those styles of hunting is polar opposites. Um, and it was wonderful to see the focus that Jay had um, and the persistence that he, that he exercised um, in working at ev all the small details that's needed uh, for a successful hunt in each, each one of these different hunts. <laughs> I'd like to just say it's me, but I'm shooting the best rifle in the world. That's why I switched to these guys. They're, they're the best. I always want to bring you the best. Part of bringing you the best is come to the best destination. I'm with my friends, Chapugu Kambako. And it's not, it's not a client pH relationship. It's a friendship. And to do stuff like this, I work at it, I put hours in, but it's so fun to come apply what you've learned. Guys, that's a long shot, that's 850, but we have perfect conditions. I have confidence in my rifle and my PH has confidence in me and I'm so excited. That is a beautiful spring buck and I'm making a believer out of Gaza. <laughs> Guys, I can't shoot two miles yet though. We can't go that far. <laughs> Said we start about 600. Yeah, fun, man. Yeah, that's then now it's, it's 800 that's watts now. That's a little target. 853. 853. On the way to come this side, I said now if we shoot more further, about 700 to 800. So now it's 850. What an amazing opportunity to hunt these species. They are pretty polished, aren't they? Yeah. But he's heavy. Yeah, he's heavy. He's got some mass. Yeah. He's out here by himself, huh? Old territorial right? He figured out that he doesn't need a woman anymore. This is their national animal, and they're very plentiful here. They do very well, and it's a privilege to hunt 
such a unique species to this country. And as you can see, just to, just to look at them, I love to examine them, study them. Um, this animal paid with his life for me to enjoy today and I'm so grateful for it. And to take photos and prop him up and clean him up, they deserve that. So that's, that's how I am. To make a long shot and a good shot with my rifle is always what I'm after. Sterling Precision has really changed the game for me. We stepped from a good rifle to a great rifle and wanted to share you guys what these can do. Unlimited opportunity, six countries. And like I said earlier, talking about going out today, there should be a six star rating because five star doesn't describe the lodge that's here. I hope you come visit. So blessed to be part of this and to harvest such a beautiful species that is gonna get utilized completely. came to the other side of the place, which is a long ways. There's a big basin here, we're kind of mountain hunting style. We found a big group of zebra in here. We're gonna see if we can climb over this mountain and get a vantage point from up high and see what happens. Okay. He's a ways from the herd and a spring buck with a bunch. Yes. Okay. Okay, now he's standing head up, right? Sterling Precision's magic. I'm not quite the most comfortable spot I is, but my gun was solid and that's what mattered and Nicola had faith in me. And we got a big stallion out of the herd, a little management practice. And I love zebra, I love them. What a hunt, we had to work for this you one. You your composure wonderfully. <laughs> Thank you. It was like a duck, I'm like a duck on top, I look cool, but underneath, man, I was kicking like crazy, but. Guys, that's a big animal. This is that 300 PRC Horny DLDX. Put him down and I'm just amazed at the opportunity you have here for long range shooting. Yeah, long shot, long walk, it's almost dark. We got some good meat, we eat these. People don't think that, but this is, it's gonna feed some people. I got a beautiful hide and we did some management tonight. I am just super excited that uh, we got such a beautiful animal down. I love these zebra, they're amazing. Big stallion, so. There it is. And I can't tell you guys enough about Shipungo Kambako and the opportunities that you have by staying with great people, 
and one of the most beautiful lodges in Africa. Blue Collar Adventures is proud to partner with Matthews, Spot Hog, the world's toughest archery products, Vortex Optics, the force in optics, Tooth of the Arrow Broadheads, Cinnamon Creek Ranch, Big Texas Deer, This is one of the most epic journeys of my life to come to Africa with these guys again, but we're doing a little conservation practice today. We need a little meat for the lodge, and we're after a water buck that's broken one of his horns off, and they're lethal to all the other ones. He's old, mature. We're gonna go out and see if we can get some meat. Why, taking out one that could kill the rest. And also, I have these G9 bullets that these guys sent me to try and they're they're supposed to be very effective and we want to see how they work out so stay tuned maybe we get lucky we spot him on the other side of this mountain so we're going to do a little walk see if we can't get an opportunity shooting my 375 so it'll be a closer range shot the wind's blowing it's howling so i want to show you the diversity of the 375 on a safari Africa never let you down and neither do these two guys right here we set these little goals every day <laughs> we want to do this and this and this and they just keep setting the bar higher and higher I really wanted to use my 375 today we're windy we're at the end of the hunt we're doing a little management practice that G9 bullet seemed to be very effective sure. what do you guys think oh Oh, so good spot, Gaza. Very cool. This is management practices. This bull was uh, lethal to the other bulls. He's at the end of his life. And I tell you, when I get old like this, and all I do is try and survive with a few teeth left. What a way to go out. He was enjoying the sunshine and now he's crossed over with a, with a nice humane harvest. And uh, there's nothing on this animal that's gonna go to waste. And he's just, I don't care that he's broke off. He's a memory that will last me forever. When we talk about management, it's, it's still, I don't like the word trophy. I like the word experience. I like the word memory. And I like to cherish and honor these animals. And I'm still, we'll take this one home and I'll have a memory with my friends here in Africa while doing some good. And without hunters doing some good, this won't be here. And it all starts with the guys over here that put in every day to make it possible. Blue Collar Adventures is proud to partner with Zionix Digital Night Vision. National Roper Supply, NRS. 
wilderness athlete, fuel for the rugged, sterling precision, Kuyu, and long shot gear. A sable is a species that I've never had the opportunity to harvest. We just spotted a really mature bull. We've been driving 60 kilometers. That's how big this place is. We found these mountainous areas. We're gonna try and slip up here, see if we can get a vantage point. We got the wind in our face and a beautiful sable bull. Hang on, maybe we'll get lucky and get a chance to put our hands on him. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. That's the king of the antelope. Yep, what a beautiful animal. What a great hunt in the rocks. It was a great shot on the first one. They're just a big, big animal. And I had an opportunity to follow up and I never want one to have to have to go it's through a respectable anything. respectable so thing to do. That was, that wasn't necessary, but it, to me it was, uh, ethical. I wanted to put him down. He's down. He's got two shots that were both in the vitals. And guys, we just, we just shot a sable. Sable is the king of the antelope because they're so beautiful. They're such an amazing species. They're very plentiful. But uh, I've been hunting Africa a long, long time. And that's my first sable. And uh, Shipungu Kabako. They, they hold your dreams in their hand and they deliver them back to you time and time again. You can hunt everything from the tiniest of the tiny antelope to the largest mammal. And you can stay with friends who we call our PHs and just make a dream come true. Love to shoot long range, I work at it and what a rewarding harvest, clean harvest at a long distance. Thanks for spotting for me, man. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> and dang, good shooting, Jay. Look at this sable right here. Nikolai just showed me his teeth. He is ancient. He is ancient. Oh, what a beautiful bull. And to me, when you talk trophy or whatever you want to call it, an old bull past his prime is, is what I love. It's not the measurement or all that stuff. It's an old, old bull that's lived a great life and he's got a purpose now and he's going with me. This guy's gonna live in my memory forever and in my home. But uh, that precision, there's number one, there's number two. You guys saw me shoot twice, I'm a softy. And the first one was lethal and he was standing there. They're big animals and I just wanted to put a humane extra shot in him. Didn't really need to, they're both almost touching at 450 and 500. And it's the rifle, guys. It's just an amazing tool. But just look at this. I'm just so blessed. And today to come be able to hunt one of my dream animals, which is a sable, which is the king of the antelope.
I've seen a lot of them. I've never had the chance, and we had a chance today in an area that doesn't get hunted that often because it's it's really rough terrain. It's hard to put a sneak on them close range, and it was perfect for what I've been practicing doing, which is long range. And to, to harvest a bull that's the age of this one, this bull, when you look at his horns, he's probably rubbed off six, seven inches on each of them, but he's continuing to sharpen the tips. His body size is massive, but his teeth are gone. So to me, that's a perfect specimen to, to take. Thank you, Belize. Enjoy it, sir. Enjoy it, sir. These guys right here, Kalahari Oryx, Shapungu Kambako. What a way to close out 32 days for me in Africa. All with Shapungu Kambako. I started in Mozambique, went to Reap Valley, which is the mountainous part of northern South Africa, and it ended up in their crown jewel. We're gonna have a, a nice sparkling beverage, campfire, and uh, just sit and talk about the memories. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this series because it's amazing. I hope you guys get a chance to come, look us up, we'll get you over here.